you positive heads out there. Thanks for tuning your beautiful brainwaves into another episode of the Positive Head Podcast, where we are firmly convinced that creating success and happiness is rooted in understanding the ultimate nature of reality and the fact that as human beings, we are all immensely powerful fractals of the one and only source consciousness, which creates and animates all things. Now, of course, understanding this powerful truth is one thing. Applying this incredibly empowering wisdom to everyday life? Well, that's another. Which is exactly why we provide you with a fresh serving of soul food for thought five days a week to help constantly remind you of what matters most. You are it. And I'm your host, Brandon Beecham. I'm the reflection and extension of you who will be here each Wednesday interviewing a different consciousness change maker. And on the other four weekdays, leading the way to ensure that your perspective is consistently expanded, your vibration is constantly elevated, and your heart is overflowing and full. Also, before we jump into today's episode, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about a few sponsors that not only help to make it possible to produce this show five days a week, but that I'm also genuinely passionate about promoting especially since they're helping to fund all the cool projects we have in the works, such as the Positive Head app, the docuseries that I'm intending to begin shooting within the next year, and whatever else we dream up over here at Positive Headquarters to help spread consciousness across the planet. Now, if you're short on time or just super excited for today's topic and want to dive right in and skip these ads, feel free to fast forward about two and a half minutes to get right into today's show. That being said, I strongly encourage you to listen because the reason I'm passionate about my sponsors is because they've made a huge impact in my own life, which is why I've aligned with these organizations. And I firmly believe they can do the same for you too. The first longtime stellar supporter of this show that I want to mention is Gaia. If you're not familiar, Gaia is the go-to source for streaming consciousness content online with over 8,000 video titles. And you can sign up for your first month for only 99 cents at Gaia.com forward slash positive head. That's spelled G-A-I-A dot com forward slash positive head. The second sponsor I'm extremely passionate about promoting is Purium. The reason I've aligned Positive Head with Purium is because I wholeheartedly stand behind their mission to end human suffering by making superfoods easily available to everyone with the ultimate goal to help restore mankind's harmony with nature in the process. I mean, what a noble mission, right? It's no mystery that you need to bring your mind, body, and spirit into balance if a person truly intends to manifest the greatest and grandest version of themselves. And for me, for years... I honestly felt like I was ahead of the curve in the mind and spirit category, but I was only average at best in the level of care I administered to my body. Sure, I was healthy-ish when it came to the food I put into my system, but after doing a Purium 40-day transformation with a 10-day metabolic reset and cleanse, I can honestly say I have reestablished my relationship with food in a very positive way. Not only did I drop the extra weight that I was carrying as a natural byproduct of the transformation so that I'm now at my ideal body weight, but I continue to feel like my best self by starting every day with an organic Purium Power Shake that is made from raw superfood ingredients that were meticulously harvested, thoughtfully combined to optimize the nutritional impact it has on my body. I view the shake as plant medicine, really, and it happens to taste really delicious and I can make it in about 30 seconds. There's actually four core Purium products that I take every day, and honestly, I intend to do so for the rest of my life for a very scientifically sound reason. And if you want to learn more about those reasons, you can go check out my video at positivehead.com forward slash transformation, where I go into more detail. If you end up buying any of the Purium products, be sure and use the code POSITIVEHEAD, all one word, for a 25% discount. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome. It is a magical Monday here in the studio as I record. Living the dream, indeed. We're going to explore dreams today. 
I decided to do that after hearing a song called Dreams that I really enjoyed this weekend. I like to play songs on repeat whenever I find a song that I really like. Uh, it happened a couple times this weekend, actually, and I'll just wear them out. And this was one of them. So, yeah, it inspired me. Going to share it at the end of the show, but uh, inspired me to talk about living the dream, dreaming, all of those things today. And what do you know? I made that decision and then I went to iTunes to check out what's the latest review uh, in Q, because I just go and read, you know, who, what's the, what, what was the last one I read? Okay, what's next? And usually it's a month or so behind. In this case, this one came on August 5th, right? And uh, what do you know? The name of the reviewer, Dreamland Explorer. And uh, Dreamland Explorer said, Thank you for keeping me awake and high vibrational. This podcast found me at a time when I needed it most. I am 29 years old and just beginning to tap into my highest self and light worker abilities after receiving therapy for past traumas. Listening to Brandon and his guest speakers consistently really has kept my vibration higher and led to some amazing results. The other night, I had a dream where a guide assisted in putting me in a trance and showing me two scrolls with the following messages. After reading the messages, the guide told me I could access these sort of things on my own if I worked on staying open and high vibrational. Here are the messages I received in the dream. You are a divine light source. Do not let it dim, for you have work to do. Letting go is a beautiful moment in the collective journey. I truly believe Brandon and his abilities to wake people up and keep them awake and moving along through their spiritual journeys played a part in getting me to a state where I can receive these kinds of meaningful dreams and messages. Thank you so much for all you do. I love you all so, 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 so much. Wow, what a beautiful, synchronistic review. It's just like, the magic never ends, isn't it? Doesn't it give you chills? Like, I literally happened to hear a song that's randomly queued up in my SoundCloud. I play it, I love it, I play it on repeat. It inspires me to talk about dreaming today. This is the, the review that is queued up. It truly is a dream that wants to play with us, that wants to interact, that wants to meet you halfway. The, the universe will meet you halfway to play if you set that intention and step out. You got to get playful. You got to get into that childlike state, which is, you know, you hear me say it all the time. Lest you become like a child, you can't enter the kingdom of heaven. One of the few Bible verses that I adore and will actually quote all the time because it's so good. It's so true. Become like a child. And of course, I just realized now the song that I'm going to play at the end is a child's voice in the in the song itself. And um, yeah, wow. Chills, beauty everywhere. So yeah, I just want to inspire all of you to really, really step into the knowing that This is a dream. You are the dreamer and the dream to rolled into one. That's the beauty of it. You are the creator, the architect. You are the subject. You are it all. You are all angles of it. And you can access all angles of this power. If you, as JM Power said, if you want to make your dreams come true, the first thing to do is wake up. So that's what we're going to do. I'm waking up. Are you going to wake up? Wake up, Rumi said. The world that you dream holds nothing to fear. And that's the biggest one, right? Fear is this thing that um, happens so frequently to us that prevents us from moving into um, our greatest and grandest version of ourselves. And, you know, fear, forget everything and run or face everything and rise. And here's the thing. Would you really fear anything if you knew It's all you. Everywhere you go, you're there waiting for yourself. As Ram Dass said, treat everyone you meet as if they're God in drag. So anything that you fear, you treat it as yourself in drag. Um, You know, I actually watched uh, with the lovely, lovely P-head Coco, who's uh, in town visiting and uh, spent some time yesterday. Um, and, uh, she wanted to watch, show me this, uh, movie Moana, the Disney movie. And I absolutely loved it. I'm so grateful she showed it to me. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I think it's M O A N A. 
beautiful, beautiful like movie. And you know, you have the this this lava demon monster at the end, which is really the well, I won't ruin it, but basically, it's uh, the the main you know monster at the end is really the beautiful you know goddess that has just lost her heart right and when the heart is restored the monster transforms into this beautiful creator goddess um and that's really what's going on so anything that you ever bump up against in this reality that you would fear any uh, anything that you would fear it's really just that it's just a part of you that's lost its heart that's presenting itself to you so you can help to restore its heart and be bold enough and courageous enough to you know face everything and rise right and so Think of that as you step out. The only thing to fear is the fear of fear. Because <laughs> really in the moment when something is fearful, that's happening, this is something that Coco and I actually talked about this weekend, is when something that fearful is happening, you're not really scared in that moment. You're scared about the, 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 the potential of it happening. But in the moment, you just do what you need to do, right? And so that's really the only thing to fear is the fear of fear. <laughs> And uh, we are facing those fears and we are transmuting those fears and we're restoring the heart to these, these parts of ourselves that are scared. You know, everything that, that you want lies on the other side of your fears. So awaken and, and move into them with courage. Become that warrior that you were born to be. Hafiz said, awake my, awake my dear, be kind to your sleeping heart. Awake, my dear, be kind to your sleeping heart. Take it into the vast fields of light and let it breathe. (laughs) Rumi said, this place is a dream. Only a sleeper considers it real. Then death comes like dawn and you wake up laughing at what you thought was your grief. And this groggy time we live, this is what it's like. A man goes to sleep in the town where he has always lived and he dreams he's living in another town. In the dream, he doesn't remember the town he's sleeping in in his bed in. He believes the reality of the dream town. The world is that kind of sleep. The dust of many crumbled cities settles over us like a forgetful doze. But we are older than those cities. We began as a mineral. We emerged into plant life and into animal state and then into being human. And always we have forgotten our former states, except in early spring when we slightly recall being green again. That's how a young person turns toward a teacher. That's how a baby leans toward the breast without knowing the secret of its desire, yet turning instinctively. Humankind is being led along an evolving course through this migration of intelligences. And though we seem to be sleeping, there is an inner wakefulness that directs the dream. And that will eventually startle us back to the truth of who we are. And that is indeed what's happening. You are the dreamer in the dreamed and you are meant to be playful, meant to be childlike, meant to step out onto the ledge and jump, not knowing that what's going to happen but finding ultimately that is his feather bed, right? Jump and the net will appear. And that's what you're here to do. You don't want to get to the other side and not have, and to have played it safe the whole time. That's not what you came for. You can do it. Just stepping out to do it, you win. Doesn't matter if you att- attain what you're setting out for. It's the intention that's important. Do you get that? That's so key for every one of you to get. You don't need to attain that which you're setting out to. If you're moving in the direction of your dreams and it's like, okay, I'm moving in the direction of my dreams now. And if I attain them, ah, I'm the grand winner. And if I don't, then I'm, I really lost because I, 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 in, you know, I didn't play it safe. I stepped out, then didn't attain the dream. Wow, that's the worst of the worst. No, that's not the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst is playing it safe. Stepping out, going for your dreams, you may end up going in the direction of what you think is your dream, and that just leads you to something else, which leads you to something else, and then that's truly where you're meant to land. And that's the beautiful thing about it. 
having any dream that you have and uh, any vision that you have about who and what you should be doing if you were your most playful, joyous, childlike state, you can have that with a, but have it with a healthy sense of detachment, knowing that higher self can see the chessboard in a way you could never fathom. So maybe that vision is just for to get you to take a step in the right direction, which then leads to a wind in the road and, you know, uh, all of a sudden there's an exit or bump in the road and it throws you somewhere else. And then that's how higher self gets you to your ultimate vision. It's, it's this whole course. It's not a straight road. It's a winding road. And so that's how I recommend each of you to step out. Okay, I have my vision. I have my dream. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to stop playing it safe. I believe in myself. I believe this is what I came to do. I believe the universe wants to meet me halfway in play. And what I'm setting out to do may pan out marvelously and exactly unfolds exactly like I envisioned it. That can happen. Maybe not. Maybe it just, that was just a a starting point that led you somewhere else, that led you somewhere else, that led you somewhere else. But it's the underlying energy and intention of what you set out to do. Trusting the child stepping out, the vulnerable child stepping out into the great unknown, like Moana in in the movie, stepping, taking her boat beyond the reef, which no one ever did from her island, the island people, right? And that's exactly who you are and what you are and what you're here to do. Don't just stay on the island playing it safe. It is, it's time for you to jump in the boat and go beyond, go beyond the reef. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Let's listen to Alan Watts. This is called The Dream of Life. I found it on the Tragedy and Hope YouTube page. Take a listen. If you awaken from this illusion and you understand that black implies white, self implies other, life implies death, or shall I say, death implies life, You can feel yourself, not as a stranger in the world, not as something here on probation, not as something that has arrived here by fluke, but you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental. I'm not trying to sell you on this idea in the sense of converting you to it. I want you to play with it. I want you to think of its possibilities. I'm not trying to prove it. I'm just putting it forward as a possibility of life to think about. So then, let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. Or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could conceive. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. And uh, you you would dig that and come out of that and say, wow, that was a a close shave, wasn't it? Then you would get more and more adventurous and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. And finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have, of playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the Godhead, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. So in this idea then, everybody is fundamentally the ultimate reality not God in a 
politically kingly sense, but God in the sense of being the self, the deep down basic whatever there is. And you're all that, only you're pretending you're not. Let's have a surprise. <laughs> trust yourself. Trust your higher self. Trust the surprise. Don't be scared. You can do it. You're an adventure, an adventure dreaming where you are now. You are playing you aren't God. That's what's happening. You are untouchable, unfadable. You are it all. You can do it. This is DNA, Dove One and Antenne. The song is called Dreams. You can do it. 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 Dream. You want him to do you so much you could do anything? You could do it. 